Our solar system sits at the far end of a giant whirlpool of space dust otherwise known as the Milky Way. This slumbering behemoth is home to over 100 billion star systems just like our own. This number is so unbelievably huge that if each star were the size of a grain of sand, it would form a cube so high that it would touch the boundary of space. With each star hosting approximately one planet each, one can only imagine what bizarre monstrosities lay hidden beyond our sight. Let's take a tour deep in space and experience some of the weirdest and deadliest attractions our galaxy has to offer. Our first stop is HD 189773B, 65 light years from Earth. A friendly neighborhood gas giant a little larger than Jupiter with a gorgeous cobalt chain across its surface. This planet can make the perfect second home for Earth, if it weren't for the fact that it's 1300 degrees and the atmosphere instantly turning you into a replica of my grandpa's dead ashes. And this is because the blue isn't an ocean of happiness, it's a titanic storm of razor sharp silicate. A single particle can be up to six times thinner than the width of a human hair. Paired with winds that can reach speeds up to three times a bullet, anything that enters the atmosphere would be immediately reduced to pink mist. Yeah, it's best not to get out there. Tearing through space at a thousand times light speed, we meet our second destination, Kepler 22b. A beautiful surrealing world around 2.5 times the size of Earth. A super Earth. She comfortably orbits a G type star in the Goldilocks zone where it's not too hot or too cold. The perfect conditions for liquid water. Let's get a closer look. With the punishing gravity 2.5 times stronger than Earth, we plummet through the upper atmosphere like a rock. And as we descend beneath the clouds, we uncover the terrifying truth of what makes this planet so blue. One enormous super ocean stretching across the entire globe. A truly remarkable body of water bigger than three entire football fields. The sheer volume of water on this planet exceeds Earth by almost a thousandfold, with an ocean depth of over 160 kilometers below. Let's take a moment to think about how deep this truly is. The average scuba diver swims no greater than a depth of 130 feet. The deepest a killer whale can dive is 850. At around 3,280 feet, the water gets so dense that light begins to fade, where we are forced to be alone with our thoughts. We have officially entered nightmare territory. 12,000 feet down lies the wreck of the Titanic, where we encounter the strangest sea creatures. And if we keep sinking for a distance of more than three times our journey, we reach the lowest exposed point on Earth. Challenger Deep at 36,000 feet. But to get to the bottom of Kepler's oceans, we need to go more than 10 times deeper. Unfortunately, our ship can't handle the crushing pressure of any lower depths. Currently, the distance between us and the bottom of this ocean is equal to the cruising altitude of a commercial airplane times 10. Let that sink in. Okay, we deserve that. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa, hold on. My sensor's picking up an anomaly. Holy crap, look at the size of that thing. HD 100546B. A truly colossal exoplanet. With a radius of 6.9 times that of Jupiter, it makes Earth look like a grain of salt. But the true size of this planet might be a little hard to fathom, so let's put it into perspective. This is what the sky would look like if we replaced the moon with Jupiter. Holy crap. Let's do the big planet. Huh. We are in hell. Oh, the planet is so big it literally engulfed the Earth. Hmm, let's try moving it twice as far. Jesus Christ, isn't that a sight to see? Of course it would be your last one, as everyone would promptly die as the planet devours Earth, but spectacular nonetheless. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, that's the end of our tour, and it's time to go home. 100 billion exoplanets, at least, in the Milky Way alone, and we've documented less than 5,000 of them. That's approximately 0.0000005% of all the planets in the entire galaxy. We've only tasted a teaspoon of the tip of the iceberg of all the hidden worlds that exist in our cosmos. An infinite number of unique realities to explore, hiding beyond the stars just waiting to be found. Maybe one day, we'll find a planet not too different from ours. <laughs>